channel. In today's video, I want to just share with you my inside Halloween decorations. I will tell you this is not how I intended to make this video. However, let me just tell you. So I'm filming this on Saturday night at quarter to 10. My kids are off to homecoming. So it's been a pretty crazy week on top of We've had injuries, football injuries. We have had sick kids. Um, and I am going to be going to Taiwan on Monday for 10 days. That was kind of, it wasn't last minute. I knew I was gonna be going, but I didn't know when. And it just came up. And so I'm really excited to go. Um, you're probably wondering, why would you be going to Taiwan? Um, my husband has been there for a little bit of almost a month now working and so i'm just going to be catching up with him there and we're going to spend 10 days together and i'm really looking forward to it but that has put a a, a, a i can't even think of the word i'm looking for a kink in my schedule and my life um just as far as um scheduling and things I've had to do this week has been absolutely crazy because I've been trying to uh, get all of my work stuff done to take off 10 days. Also, to leave four kids is kind of hard. Um, and it's also homecoming week, which, you know, if you have teenagers, homecoming week is extremely busy when you have kids that are involved. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy it and I have already decorated. I'm just gonna kind of walk you through. I, if you've been around here, you know that I um, like to use, I like to just add to what I already have. So if you are wondering, if you wanna go back to all my fall videos and check those out, if you're new here, I'm just adding to that, taking away a few things, but just mostly adding to it. Without further ado, let me take this camera off. I'm just gonna walk around and kind of give you a little tour. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's start here at the entryway. I wanted to share, I tied some black satin ribbon to my wall sconces. I did this in the fall, or excuse me, Christmas time, and I really liked it, so I thought I would do it again for um, Halloween. I think it kind of just adds to the simplicity of what I already have going on. I kept this arrangement the same. However, I did add some black twigs that I got off of Amazon. And then just added a little cute ghost there from Michaels. I have shared these over and over year after year. They are actually dried pumpkins that I got probably 10 years ago at a a big craft event called Swiss Days. If you're in Idaho or Utah, you know what I'm talking about. It's massive. It's like the best craft fair, craft-ish thing you can ever go to. But anyway, I love them and I love to bring them out during Halloween just because I kind of love the funkiness of them. And then I added the twig wreath to my mirror there. And then I shared those that back bat pick with you um, in a recent haul and I just kind of twirled it around that candlestick and then I added a little skeleton sitting there on the boxes. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't love what I've done here but I, I kind of am just out of time and I don't have any more capacity to spend decorating. So this will have to do for now um, but like I said, I the boxes and the, the floor arrangement were already here. I just added a few things to make it Halloween. Now turning around into the kitchen, I just added a few of these crows all over and I thought that that one looked really cute in this big floor arrangement on my table. And then coming over here on my island, I added, I showed these, these are from Hobby Lobby, and I loved them, but I could not figure out how to use them in my fall decorating. They are definitely more Halloween, and I probably could have found a better, like, um, one of these to put it in, but I could not. Um, I don't have one, and I didn't, I don't have time to go shopping, so that'll do for now. And I tied a little satin bow. And then I added my towel, and I love the layered look of these two towels together. 
And then I just added the little jack-o-lantern on the top there. Uh, back here, I added a little, um, my other little towel there. And then up here on my hood vent, I added that really darling spooky banner and a little crow. And I love that banner and the crow. I think he's so cute and fun. Over here, I added this, another one of those pumpkins. I just, I mean, can you get, there? I don't know. They're just so cool. And this little RIP plate that I got last year from Target. I think they have something similar this year. And then on my stove, just continue with my little pumpkin baking dish. I love it. I love it for use and I love it for decor. Over here, I just added this really cute pumpkin, or excuse me, skull head from Target, or excuse me, Walmart, and then the little ghost. And I think that's so cute. But my favorite part, I think, is probably just these like little tiny touches I did to my open shelves. Um, I just added the little ghost there from Walmart, and then I layered the 31 here. Um, I have had that for a million years. I can't even, I think it was like when Target first came out with their dollar spot, I got those. I got the 31 in that, and I have just used it every year, and I just love it. I just think it's so fun. And it's like Halloween without being too over the top. But I just little touches here and here in this little corner. First of all, um, thanks to whoever told me about um, those little guys back there. It's working so well to keep the bugs away with my lamp on. But over here, I just added this black pumpkin. Shared and raved about these all season long. The black one is probably my favorite. Um, and it's perfect for Halloween. So I will link it below if you guys want to check that one out. Over here in the live in the living room here, I added another little crow onto that bird cage. I think he's so cute up there. And then I flipped my pumpkin around and isn't it so cute? I did have another one there, but my dog bumped that stool and unfortunately is no longer a pumpkin. I, again, another thing I've had for a million years is this little jack-o-lantern. I love the tall little hat on there. He like is the perfect little addition anywhere I put him. I love it. Last year I think he was on my entryway table. This year he's on the mantle. And then over on this side of the mantle, I just added that little skull head. He is from Target. And then over here in this little corner, I added that trick or treat sign. Again, something I've had for years. I still love it and it was it fit perfect right there. And then I added a little Halloween pillow with my skeleton. My dog hates the skeleton, so we usually have to put it in the bedroom during the night, but um, he's pretty cute. On, on the coffee table, I just removed the little pumpkin that was there and put this really cute spider. I think it's just so cute. And then on the couch, I switched up a few pillows. This is like my favorite part. I added the bat pillow there, and then I just switched out one of the pillows over here for that skull one. And I just love this, like the added black to it. I I don't know why I, I stare clear of black all the time, but I do. And then I when I do use it, I'm like, I really like it. So anyway, I loved those pillows together. A little bit of Halloween, not too crazy, and it's just my style. And last but not least, I added this really fun um, pillow that I, I've had for years. I don't even remember. I think I got it at Joann's um, several years ago to my little bench right there. And I think it looks really cute. So let me show you a little overview of the living room. Even though my dog is drinking water, never fails when I have a camera in my hand.
right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm so sorry it was nothing fancy, but I did want to share it with you. I took, I went through the effort of getting all the boxes out and decorating, and I don't want it to go to waste. So I hope you um, liked what you saw, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.